16th, 2022, well over a year ago, for the very first time, myself and Javier teased a video showcasing our proudest creation, something which we call Dex. Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. This is it. Go. Those of you that don't know what that is or haven't seen the videos or seen the craze that's been spread online about decks, it's essentially a full 52 card pocket index that hides in one skinny jean pocket that's fast as lightning. Well, since that video went live, the magic world and magic industry has been incessant, non-stop messaging, forum posts, social media inboxes, emails, non-stop. There's even a Facebook group, you can go and find it of people demanding to get their hands on Dex. Well, after all that time, on Monday, in five days, September the 18th, Dex is finally being released to the world. And to say thank you for all of you being so patient and so passionate about Dex, I'm gonna do something a little bit unorthodox. I'm gonna do something that other magic companies don't do. The tutorial is nine hours long. It is literally just jam packed with tricks, just magic trick after magic trick after magic trick. Uh, I think there's 40 ish in total. <laughs> what I've done is I've chopped out one of those tricks. It's not even the best trick, it's not even the worst trick. I've just chopped out a trick from the tutorial, and you're about to watch that part, that trick, from start to finish, completely unedited. And a massive thank you from myself, Javier of Murphy's Magic. So enjoy. This is a crazy trick that that starts off going in one direction, like the band, and then it ends up somewhere completely different. And uh, the, 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 there's some cool things that happen along the way that will tie some impossible knots in your in your audience's mind when they try, if they ever try to figure this out. So, um, look, I'm going to try and show you that I have complete control over the deck, Javi. It may not seem like it because I'm shuffling the cards into a random order. Yeah. Uh, but like, do you have a favorite card, or, or do you, could you name a card? Uh, uh, let's do the three of hearts. How's that? Three of hearts. Okay, yeah. Three of hearts currently is 32 down in the deck. So what I need to do is give the deck a few cuts and shuffles like this. If I've done my job correctly, yeah, I think now it's here. So with ultimate control, I should be able to cut that three to the top, right? <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. But that could be seen as skill, right? So now I'm, I'm going to show you the difference between skill and magic. I'm going to place three. This time it's going to be going 24 cards down in the deck, right? And you can see I yeah. did nothing. No sneaky moves. No nothing, sneaky right? moves. Watch. Yeah, let me try this again. Here we go. It comes back to the top. It's crazy. Watch, we'll do it one more time. Burn my hands as closely as you can. I'm going to place it a little bit further down this time. Maybe 32 cards down. Gently, I'm going to square that card into the deck and look with no moves yeah my card comes back to the deck <laughs> <laughs> but watch watch I know you think that I'm maybe using some slight hand or some trickery and you can't tell if the card's on top or in the middle because all the backs look identical right so let me show you something that helps you identify when I'm doing the sneaky move keep your eye on the back of the cards it's just like this Ooh. and that three becomes red wow <laughs> I know, right? So now you can always tell what's happening. But the, the the easiest way to tell where this card is in the deck is to make all the cards in the deck vanish just like this. Watch, I'll place the three over here. And if I wave, do you see them go? Yeah. No, actually, but no. every card's now gone. And remember, you could have named any single card in the deck. Any single card. The card could be signed. You named the three of hearts. Not only did it come to the top time after time after time, it's the only red card in the deck. That is amazing. And can I check that deck out? Yes, everything is 100% <laughs> examinable. True, everything is 100% yeah. examinable. So uh, basically this starts off as an ambitious card with the nice caveat that you have them freely name the card and then it ends up as a color changing back effect and then it ends up as the rest of the deck vanishing. And then when they try and think back to the, what the method could be, well, they named the card and they think, well, maybe I control the card, but then they realize that there's no other cards in the deck and it's the only one with the red back, but they couldn't see it. It kept jumping to the top. How do you keep jumping to the top if they could see the backs? And everything is this crazy mishmash of methods. And you don't have to do the presentation that I did where I shuffled it to the top to begin with and talk about skill. 
versus magic. You, you can do anything you really like, but I'll run, over, run you over the super duper basics and the routine is way easier than you possibly imagine. So as we know, first thing you need is a blue blank deck or an odd fact color blank deck. And then you're gonna get the card, whatever they name, out from decks, okay? So you get it out, load it to the bottom, just load on the bottom. And then I use this thing where I say, oh, I think it's 33, 32 cards down or whatever. And it gives me the excuse to very openly some riffle off four cards, three or four cards on top of the red card. So let's say I'm going to go for three, three blue cards. And I kind of freestyle it. It's not perfect, right? But I'll do the red and then one, two, three, maybe four cards. Let's do that. Now I just literally cut these to the top and do a false top stop control, meaning the three of hearts is fifth down from the top. So now I do a pinky break underneath five cards or you can do it with just four cards it's up to you but i turn it over now it's on top the cool thing is they can sign this card and there's so many convincers and layers of deception going on here because they keep seeing this three they keep seeing the blue back they really believe if anything that if this the one thing they believe is true the, the three has a blue back right they just see it so much so then i'm placing the x card in you know i'm doing some this is a quad this time so turn it over at the corners to be sure and I'm placing an X card in once meaning it's third down this time I get a pinky break under these three the, the cool thing is I always I can always tell where it is because I can see the red card flash by and again I can do it again if it's signed it's even better because I feel it's just a bit more convincing that they keep seeing the blue back over and over and anyway I repeat this until I'm down to the card being second from top and here you can do a bunch of different things you can do a Erdnay's change to make it change red. You could have someone hold their hand out and then you deal it into their hand becoming red. I would say do a KM move, but then you're gonna flash these, so don't do that. Um, but any way you want to just change the card red, you could just come here and then steal it off. So if you have a double, you could just come here and then say, look, it changes red visually in your hands like that. However you wanna do it, um, but it goes from basically being an ambitious card routine where it keeps coming to the top. And if you want to do more phases as well, if you have a double here, you could do like a, like a Sadowitz slip a few times so you can keep repeating it, but only with uh, two cards. Either way, whenever you want to, you can now make that card become red, just like this. And now you're completely clean. There's nothing to find. This is a red card. It's gone from ambitious card or card control to then uh, to now the only card in the deck. And your final kicker is that every other card is blank and that just sort of ties that impossible loop it's the knot that tightens itself um it's it's it's, it's a crazy effect and really the only moves you have are a couple of double triple lifts and if you can do a double lift you can do a triple lift you can do a triple lift you can do a quadruple lift and decks so enjoy it and uh, this is a real mind melter as I said, that's one of over 40 tricks. It's not even the most creative trick by a million miles. Just a fun, simple trick that can take something you already know and love and elevate it right into the stratosphere, into something that your audiences will have never seen before, completely with ease, all because of something called decks. Now there's a Facebook group called the Dex Launch Group. Over the next few days, we'll be showing even more teasers, even more insights and behind the scenes from the Dex project. And if all else fails, get ready to be part of the Dex Worldwide Live Launch September the 18th, which is about 11.30 a.m. California time. Again, thank you all so much. Don't forget, hit subscribe to this channel where I'll be posting a couple more teasers over the next couple of days. And when all else fails, I will see you all very, very soon. Peace. Yeah.